Oh, here he comes. Nice. Here he comes, Bob. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX. Once again, we're gonna get up, get out, do something. This time around, it's a first for me. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work out. As you know, all my videos are unscripted, improv. Well, I don't know what the hell is gonna happen, but what I do know is that we're supposed to be heading out offshore from South Padre Island on board the Sea Rebel. And uh, guys, this thing is huge. It's a 60-foot boat. A sport fish, the captain tells me. That's the way you call it. I am kind of worried about it in a sense. I'm nervous and I'm excited. I'm happy. But I don't know how I'm going to react to it. So I hear horror stories. But I've done everything under the sun to try to keep myself from uh, getting sick. But anyway, I have, I have Captain Daniel over here. I have Mike. And Bruno. Bruno's somewhere around that, that kid is agile man I've, I've seen him all over the place here so you'll be seeing some video of Bruno in a little bit but uh, here let me let's talk to uh, the captain captain this is an appropriate time to talk to you yeah. we're good so talk to me uh, how long are you to do this uh, 29 years 29 years we're in safe hands yeah well <laughs> <laughs> you never know so tell me uh, what is the plan today uh, we're going to go snapper fish and then uh, we're going to go out and try to get off the shelf and see if we can catch some pelagics, maybe dolphin, wahoo, tuna, or get lucky and get a billfish. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. This thing is beautiful. I hope I get a chance to shoot some of the other stuff from this uh, boat, like, you know, the, the, the living quarters and stuff like that. This is all thanks to my friend Ben and my friend Tanya from Costa Cleanups. I decided to stay up here with the captain because I think I might get the better views out here. But uh, I'll introduce you to the rest of the people on board in a little bit. Hey. <laughs> Captain Daniel got us moving at around 30 miles per hour. The sea was a little choppy, but the Sea Rebel had no issues cutting through the waves. The engines crank over 3,000 horsepower and the sophisticated electronics inspire confidence. I hope you can be patient with me with this video. I was completely out of my element, and I will say that shooting a YouTube video offshore is a whole other animal. Let me know in the comments what you think. You're hooked up, Tanya? Yeah? Fish on? Reel him in, reel him in. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The first fish! Two in a row, Tanya. Awesome. Yeah, you got Rick over here, hooked up. Fish on, fish on. Wow. Oh, yeah. 
Nice. Incredible. Hey guys. Okay, so we just, the captain brought us up to this spot, almost 40 miles out, and the crew already, Tanya has two, all right? I know Rick has one. Lupe over here. Lupe, are you hooked up? up. I can't even keep up with him, man. Oh, Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna need a big pan for that one, bro. Beautiful. Oh man. Okay, everybody's on. I think I'm gonna try to do some fishing myself. It is hard to get a grip on this thing right here. Here it comes. Oh no! Oh no! Come here, boy, don't leave. Damn it. Yeah, at the very end when he was breaking it up. Okay. It's not there. Everybody was on. I had one. It was big, it was huge, I promise you. I think my camera might have recorded it, but yeah, no such luck. As it was coming in, it came off and it made it back to its habitat. So anyway, we're gonna do another, give it another round and we're gonna try it once again, see how it goes. Captain Daniel placed us right back on the snapper and Rick hooked up immediately. If you've never been offshore before, let me tell you that the constant rocking of the boat makes the simplest of tasks more challenging. The camera, unfortunately, doesn't capture the experience quite accurately. guys so I decided to come inside the cabin beautiful place over here nice couches you know air conditioning little shade I started feeling kind of bad not to the point where I want to puke or anything like gross like that but definitely not feeling it a hundred percent and um, yeah, so I was feeling kind of weak and sleepy, drowsy. I did, uh, I'm wearing a patch, one of those motion sickness patches. And I'm also, I also took a couple of driving me pills. Had a good night's sleep, you know, tried to stay hydrated all night yesterday. Still wasn't enough. So, you know, now I'm not puking yet, but uh, definitely not feeling it 100%. So, it sucks, you know, because I want to be out there fishing, having a good time with everyone, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's not going to happen right now. I need to chill out and I don't know if I can work through this or how the rest of the trip is going to be, but that would be sad if it, it gets ruined because uh, there's a lot of good fishing going on right now and it sucks that I can't partake in it. But hey, I try my best, right? You know, I, it's. Yeah, but anyway, let, let me show you how neat this is right here. So there's a whole living room area, TV, full kitchen. I think it's got three bedrooms and two baths. It's, it's just, I might be wrong, but it probably has more than that. But um, just an amazing, amazing uh, craft that we're on. This vessel is, is so beautiful so awesome and I'm so lucky to be out here but anyway I'm gonna see if I can take it easy for a little bit and I'm gonna give it another try yeah I've been uh, trying to relax here 
in a nice cool cabin for a few minutes and uh, kind of getting trying to feel a little bit better Rick one of the guys here one of the guests he gave me some Pedialyte and uh, started taking sips Tanya was super nice she gave me some crackers stabilized my stomach and uh, so I'm actually it feels weird but it, I feel like I'm getting uh, re-energized over here and um, I'm glad I wasn't I didn't miss a lot out there but still I want to be at hundred percent so I can continue with the video because this is uh, so damn cool right Tanya <laughs> right Mike of course right Bruno boom <laughs> Okay, I think we're on, yeah. I got over my little episode and felt energized again. So I went back out there and gave it another go. Oh, it's a big boy. Yeah, come on, boy. Oh, nice. Oh, I kicked my ass. Ben. Okay, Buddy got one over there, and now Tanya over here. She's hooked up. Oh, I, we can see it. Oh. <laughs> Ben, you're still fighting yours? Yes, sir. We're ready to drive. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Nice. Look at this. Yeah, That's, the, That's the king. Right. <laughs> wow. That's a big one, buddy. <laughs> nice. Nice, buddy. Good. Ben and Tanya. On bottom. All right. That's a good one. Snapper wasn't the only species biting on this trip. Tanya hooked up on something big and she was determined to bring it in. To me, like you're doing uh, your uh, your research. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do today, research. So you can't beat that better than being in the store. <laughs> yeah. So one thing is to sell the product at the store, but before you sell it, I guess you come here and you put yeah, it. Yeah, we the try it out. We put it out to work, try to see if it's gonna work. But that way, we're not selling you something. Hey, it works and it doesn't really work. You know, so we come and test the product ourselves. And uh, the report I anything we sell, we try. We know because it's proven from our captains and our local fishermen and stuff. Like and we usually tell our customers, you know, what's biting? Well, this is what's going on. This is, or we usually tell them, look at the rack that's the most empty. That's the one that's hitting. <laughs> so, but yeah, for I'm Marine Outfitter, you ever need your batteries, old, anything, lures, frozen baits, we, you know, rod and reel repair, we do a little bit of that, you know, for the you know, newer, newer stuff. But yeah, come on by. More than welcome. We're open on Saturdays and Sundays, so come on too. Bruno, what are you doing right now? Uh, just setting some lines out. Gonna keep scrolling. So, for this one right here, how does it work, man? Walk me through it. Uh, it this is called your shotgun line. It's pretty much the furthest back 
uh, out of all the lines and uh, it's up on a clip and if something hits it it'll fall off the clip and go straight to the rod and that's pretty much what's going on with all the ones on the rigger. Oh, okay. So you, right now how many do you have set up? We got five on the riggers now. Uh, two on each left and right and then one on the center rigger. And this is uh, usually done, we're actually what they call trolling, right? Yes, sir. And uh, what are we trolling for? Any kind of pelagic fish, pretty much. Wahoo, tuna, mahi, uh, anything that feeds moving. The outriggers were deployed and we started making our way back. I took a little time to talk to my friend Tanya with Costa Cleanups. I'd like to thank Ben Hill and Sea Rebel uh, for not only this amazing snapper trip, but also for supporting and sponsoring our beach cleanup with Costa Cleanup. Um, we're really rebels with the cause, so we love fishing and the ocean, and that's why we want to protect what we love. Daniel, Captain Daniel Cole, he's amazing, and the crew, um, they, they're very supportive of Costa Cleanups, but they also cons uh, very conservative. Follow all the laws, don't overfish, and we eat what we cut. So we really appreciate uh, Sea Rebel and their staff and Ben Hill for all their help and support and protecting what we love. Uh, what's really disturbing and part of the reason why uh, I started Costa Cleanups is because I found out our wildlife was eating our trash. And I got to see that firsthand out here. Um, there's something called sargasm. It's kind of like a seagrass, but it floats on top of the water. And what fishermen look for is these rip currents with the sargasm in it. So uh, there's lots of life in there. There's little shrimp and crabs, and uh, it's just kind of a little community. Of, uh, and it attracts bait fish and um, bigger fish, and we fish right there. And they actually, hear, I see them looking for plastic in there because it attracts the fish. So, um, giving that, you know, the, some of the fish, the jaw lines have been scientifically proven to be shaped, the, the, the same shape as a turtle. It's not only the, the turtles eating our trash, it's the fish as well. You know I fly my drone for moving boats, but I've never done that from a yacht. I really wanted to show more of this incredible vessel. If you're still watching at this point of the video, you probably are enjoying the episode. So why not just hit that like button and subscribe? Analytics tell me only 30% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So I would really appreciate it if you improve that ratio. Landing a drone on a moving boat in choppy waters will separate the men from the boys. I gotta say I was impressed with Buddy stepping up to catch my DJI. Okay, buddy, get yourself all the way to the edge there. He's gonna catch it, guys. Good buddy. <laughs> Got the spotlight on him. Put it away from her. Please, loving Jesus. That's what better light does, dude. <laughs> Are you controlling it, or is it? Yeah, I'm controlling it. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm controlling it to you. That's what better light does. He's an attorney, Jesus. He can really hurt me. It's right in front of you, Billy. How comfortable, Billy? Buddy. <laughs> Buddy! I know, I know, I know, I know. You see what it's doing? That's because of the... You're gonna have to commit, man. Get it, buddy, get it. What's that? <laughs> Nothing abrupt. Get it, get it, get it, please. Yeah! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it right there, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Stay right there.
I want to give huge thanks to Ben, owner of the boat, of course, Tanya Tallard, you know, who with Costa Cleanups uh, for inviting me. And of course, Captain Daniel and uh, Bruno, and of course, Mike, the rest of the guys, <laughs> Lupe, Buddy, Rick, just awesome people, man, that I was able to share this first time experience with them. And I am extremely grateful. Uh, I can't wait to try these uh, snapper, man, because uh, they look pretty good. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Get out of